Hey, I figured I hadn't uploaded in a while, so I thought I'd do a video showing you guys all the nail stuff I've got. So to start with, you've got the basic essentials, uh, like nail polish remover, cotton pads, all the files and stuff. Uh, you basically get these with everything. If you don't have brushes or dotting tools, these are good for adding detail and stuff. Um, these packs are really good for just everything you'd need to take care of your nails. Uh, paper always comes in handy. Um, then moving on to the nail polish. Uh, I have, well actually I don't really have that many, um, but you've got all the clears, um, base polishes and such. Um, just having a variety of colours makes it easier to get the kind of impact you want from your nails. Uh, then I've got all of my false nail stuff. I bought all these glues from China because um, the main aim is to have my own website where I can sell false nails I've made. So I bought those kind of ready, but they're really powdery. So I'm kind of thinking the guy I bought them from has a coke factory in his kitchen. Then you've got all the acrylic powders, liquid, so you're quite lucky this isn't smell -o vision because it smells horrible in here. I'd open a window but little spiders in because it's dark. Um, a lot of false nails, different sizes, you've got rounded, square, got the tips, I've got really long oval ones. Uh, then we move on to the more decorative side. You've got like the stickers to cover your nails, um, the foils, they can look quite good if you do it well. If you don't have a good kit or glue it can look a bit... Mm. These I found quite helpful. They're to if you, if you want a nail tip, so you want the two different colours, they will you just stick it on, paint over it, and then peel it off, and you've got an even line instead of struggling to paint it on. Um, got the stamping wheels. I haven't really used these yet. That horrible noise is my computer. I've got all the little squeaky stuff for it. Got a few more of the nail stickers here. Got some striping tape. Then we get to um, what's taking up the majority of my table. Got a lot of glitter, powder and shards. Move on to some of the gemstones. Got some of the sequin spangly stuff. All these cute little jars are caviar beads. Then got some in baggies. Um, buttons are kind of an odd thing to include with this, but as long as it's sort of nail size, like not too much bigger than your nail so you won't catch it on anything, why not? Um, a lot of fabric bows I, and plastic attachments, plastic flowers, I quite like the um, sort of deco nails, I haven't done a video for it yet but if you're interested in seeing something like that then just leave a comment below. Uh, I've got cute little colourful plastic bows, uh, more jemmies, more jemmies, um, these are, I can't keep it on my hand, dangled, you can't see them quite well, and they're not the ones you drill in a hole in your nail, they have two separate bits, so you glue part of it to it and it hangs down, and I thought it would be quite cute a fancy way to do it. Um, then I've got a lot of metal bows, hearts, a bit of everything. Then this monstrosity on my table which is going to blind and confuse you is um, a lot of rhinestones and everything basically. Uh, I've got all the colours this is the best colour in the world, you can't see it very well because it's so late and the lighting in my house is 
a bit shit. Got different shapes. Um, these ones are mixed. I have no idea where I got them from. They've got round stars, half moons, bit of bloody everything. Got the tiny multicolored ones, getting a bit bigger. Got all the half pearls. Look quite cute, especially the more pale ones. I quite like the paler ones. Um, then I have a lot of female. Um, got the nice blade thingy to chop it up with. Um, I bought the fruit set of canes to chop up myself. I do believe these are pineapples. Wasn't entirely sure. Um, but I quite want to get some more. I actually enjoyed chopping them up because I'm a bit of a weirdo, I think. Getting a bit OCD. Must make it thin. Quite like the strawberry ones and the watermelon ones. Quite cute. A lot of oranges. I had a lot of oranges. But yeah, this monstrosity. I'm running out of room to walk backwards. The entire table. My nail stuff took up the entire dining room table. And that isn't everything I want to buy. There, um, you can see sort of where a lot of it's quite old. Okay, because it looks a bit shit. But with my nail polish, um, you see some of them have got coloured tops, it makes it easier to fish out the colour I want from the boxes. So you, all you've got to do is just draw around the lid, fill it in with the nail polish, cut it out, tape it on. It makes it a hell of a lot easier to find the polish you want if you're getting it from above. If you've got a shelf, and I'm extremely jealous of you because I haven't got a shelf and I want one. But I most of mine, I think, is Rimmel nail polish. Um, not saying it's the best you can buy. It's affordable. They do a lot of colours and it works for me. Um, but they do... Oh my god, phone, why? <laughs> but they do come out quite nicely um, I would say it is quite a good one to buy it because it's affordable and good colour choice there are others you could get the Maybelline ones do some really nice strong colours they come out quite nicely but um, yeah and then you've got sort of the more special well special effect ones I've got um, this Rimmel Metal Rush one, it's two tones, it's sort of a turquoise, gold and purple. I uh, quite liked it. I haven't particularly used it. I've got my glitter ones, crackle polish because it was so cool. Didn't you know? Crackle polish, it's amazing. Magnet one. I didn't particularly get on with this because it didn't, it didn't work. <laughs> Uh, got the sort of detail ones, the thin brush and the blubberdy end. Got the printing varnish, which um, used with the stamping wheels. You can use normal polish for these, I do believe. <laughs> you can see my hand in my camera. It's in use. Um, the oh, I don't really know why it came with special polish. I figured you just use whatever you wanted. But, yeah, obviously, the, I'd say the things you'd need most are, well, nail polish, obviously. Good luck painting your nails without it. But, uh, cotton pads, nail files, nail polish remover, because you don't want to pick it off, because that just flakes your nails, makes them thin and weak. Um, I'd say with the files, I got this one because come back, it was cute. I got it because it looked nice. It's rubbish. It's one of these sort of metal, what was these now? 
in the in the genre. But it doesn't really work. It's awful. I really liked the sort of crystal glass file though. I used it so much that I wore the gritty bits off and it stopped working. Yeah, I used it that much. Um you don't really need this many shiny things to do what you want with your nails. I just get really carried away when I see shiny things. Um, not really sure what I have to say. This is just to show you what I've got to give you an idea of what you can use to paint your nails with. Itch leg. Um, but if, if you've seen anything you think, oh I really want to know how you could use this, some ideas I, I want to be able to use this, I've got some of it but I can't think of anything then just leave a comment you know, whatever you don't get many views yes I'm sad <laughs> so mean to me but now, if there's anything you want to see just let me know because I've got this camera now, I can actually use a tripod, which means steadier filming. I'm holding it right now, which is why it's all wobbly. Oh, you got motion sickness. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but yeah, this thing says it's running out of battery, even though I just put batteries in it. So I will stop there. I will see you in my next video. Bye.